welcome to Purple Sky News. All the news you probably missed but shouldn't have. Strap yourself in and get ready to have your mind blown. The news isn't what it used to be. Lies and manipulation run rampant. Here at Purple Sky News we bring the news that matters. Without further ado, here's today's story. Disney built a blockchain can it compete with Ethereum? By Business Insider on October 3, 2017. From animatronics to digital animation, the Walt Disney Company has long been a pioneer in emerging technology. And blockchain technology is no exception. In 2014, Disney's tech-focused Seattle office started building what's now known as Dragon Chain, a blockchain protocol designed to allow for more data privacy than is possible on other enterprise-oriented blockchains like Ethereum. The idea was to develop a secure asset management system to be used internally. However, Disney dropped the project in 2016 and decided to make it open source. Soon after, a group of former Disney employees founded the Dragon Chain Foundation, a nonprofit which manages upkeep of the protocol. Now, they're looking to build a commercial business called Dragon Chain Inc. on top of the platform to help other companies quickly and easily start using blockchain. But first they need to raise money to do so. Gap in the market. It's commonly believed in blockchain circles that the technology could someday make up an entirely new infrastructural layer of the internet, replacing traditional contracts and payment systems used in industries like law and real estate, because the design of the technology makes it difficult to commit fraud. Dragon Chain Incorporated Chief Business Officer George Sarhanis, left, and CEO Joe Rowitz. This promise has drawn in research and development funds from industry powerhouses including IBM and Cisco, which have joined various unifying organizations such as Hyperledger and the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance to better understand how this new technology can be leveraged commercially. But many large corporations, such as Disney, have been hesitant to put their own data on public blockchains because the design would leave much of their proprietary and sensitive data open to prying eyes. The hope for Dragon Chain is that other companies feel the same way. Joe Rowitz, now CEO of Dragon Chain Incorporated, was one of the engineers behind the original project at Disney. Disney was very forward-thinking and wanted to know how people use different tech, Rowitz said. We started building things. It took two years to build out the platform, give or take. Rowitz described Dragon Chain Inc's platform as a turnkey product, which makes it easier for companies to build what they want on top of the Dragon Chain blockchain protocol, without investing in expensive and hard-to-find technological expertise. Rowitz said that while it is possible to build security and encryption on top of a public blockchain, it's a costly and time-consuming project. With Dragon Chain, the encryption and obfuscation is built in. We realized some of the real-world problems are that companies have access to traditional engineers, but they don't necessarily have a crypto background, Rowitz said. If you go even further into blockchain, you need an economist or a game theory expert. More private than Ethereum. Like the technology behind the cryptocurrencies Bitcoin and Ethereum, Dragon Chain is a digital ledger that uses complex algorithms to document transactions in a way that cannot be easily modified. Every blockchain contains a complete history of everything that has happened on it, which makes it harder for fraud to occur in financial transactions. Unlike the public Bitcoin and Ethereum protocols, however, Dragon Chain is a hybrid. This means some information is private, and some is public. The main difference would be that with Ethereum or any public blockchains, your data is out there, Rowitz said. You can do certain things to obfuscate your data. You could encrypt it. But it won't matter in 10 years or 20 years. While Disney originally built the project as a private blockchain, this method doesn't have the same authenticity benefits as a public or hybrid protocol. Having some of the data public is vital to making the technology effective in protecting fraud. That's because the ability to spread data across a decentralized network is a key component of authenticating the validity of transactions. The blockchain usually requires consensus from multiple companies and computers in order to make a change to the blockchain's history. Theoretically, 
this makes it difficult for solo actors to delete receipts for their own benefit. Initial Coin Offering Whether or not Dragon Chain Inc. is able to move forward with its commercial ambitions depends a lot on how things go over the next month. From October 2nd to November 2nd, Dragon Chain Inc. will hold an initial coin offering, ICO, also known as a token sale, to raise money for the company. Around 238 million tokens, which the team calls Dragons, will be available for sale to the public. Artwork, such as Memo Rotella's Palin's Esto, is for sale by auction on Look Lateral's website. The company is working with Dragon Chain to build a secure way to authenticate and pay for art. Image Source, Look Lateral Disney has no involvement in Dragon Chain's initial coin offering, a Disney spokesperson said. ICOs are an increasing common fundraising technique in the blockchain world. Companies like Dragon Chain Inc. offer up a select number of tokens that can be purchased with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. The tokens can be exchanged for goods and services within the blockchain platform. On its website, Dragon Chain describes Dragons as tokenized micro-license for interaction with Dragon Chain commercial platform services. While tokens are not currencies, they can be traded on token exchanges for higher or lower cash value than they were purchased for. Not every investor necessarily wants to use services within Dragon Chain. Some may see it as an investment that could generate gains in the long term. Those that do want to use the service will have access to three different commercial products. The first is a developer-friendly platform for building new projects on top of Dragon Chain. There's also a marketplace that has a library of pre-built smart contracts and features to make the building process faster. The company will also fund an incubator for teams that want to develop projects on top of the protocol. Several companies are already working on Dragon Chain to develop new tools and businesses. Look Lateral is an Italian fine art site which is using Dragon Chain to create proof of authenticity for the art that it sells on its platform. Some pieces of art on the site cost over $100,000, so the blockchain will function as a way of paying for art, as well as a record of ownership. In the art world, this is referred to as provenance. Another company called LifeID is working to build a secure identity platform on the blockchain. This would allow users to verify that they are who they say they are in digital and physical spaces, without relying on state-issued IDs, or corporately owned social media, like Facebook profiles. Dragon Chain Inc's ICO begins October 2nd. Thank you for tuning in. Stay awake and awaken others. Help us spread the word by sharing this video. If you enjoyed it give it a like and let us know what you think in the comments below. And of course, subscribe for notifications of new videos. Don't watch fake news.